Did you enjoy the song that I played just now? If you did, then you might have an idea on what I'll be talking about today. But first, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you a question. Have you ever looked at someone playing an instrument and thought that, wow, that person looks so cool. I want to be like them. But playing an instrument is so hard and I don't have time for any of that. You know what I have to say to all of that? Why? Don't be such a negative Nancy. Truth is, playing an instrument is not as hard as you think. And trust me, I have experienced it firsthand. So if you want to learn to play, but don't know what instrument to start with, then the ukulele is your best bet. Hi, I'm Vanessa. And for the next eight minutes or so, I'm going to teach you how to play the ukulele with just four simple steps. Don't believe me? I'll prove it to you. Picture this. Playing the ukulele is like playing a four-string guitar. That's two less strings to deal with and your fingers will find it much easier to maneuver it since it's half the size of a regular guitar. The ukulele is one of the smallest instruments in the planet. It's light, it's portable, it's easy to hold. And did I mention it also comes with an affordable price? I got mine at Shopee for 60 ringgit and that's a good bargain if I do say so myself. So without further ado, let's take a look at those four steps to kickstart your ukulele career. So step one, which is probably the most important step of all. Make sure your ukulele is tuned. An untuned instrument is basically every musician's worst nightmare. So make sure your ukulele has the perfect pitch so you can produce beautiful harmonies. You can easily find a tuning application on the App Store or even from any website online. So the notes that we need to remember are G, C, E, and A. On the screen, you can see my tuning app and it tells you what note is playing when you pluck any string. So let's try. Let's try plucking the G string. So turn the peg to get that desired pitch. And when it turns green, you'll know that it's the perfect note. And you can move on to the next few strings. So the key here is that you need to train your ears to match the notes that is played on the tuner. So follow the green line and experiment with it yourself. Once you're done, it will basically sound like this. Now you're ready for step two, which is learning some basic chords. So in this step, I'm going to introduce you to chord diagrams. So in the screen, you'll see a few chord diagrams. So, learning how to read a chord diagram is important so we know what strings our fingers are supposed to press in order to produce that desired note. So, most songs are made of four basic chords, which are C, F, G, and A. So, just by learning those chords alone, you can already play a lot of songs. So, let's start off with a C chord. So now on the screen, I have a chord diagram for the C chord and this will tell you where to put your fingers. So it says that on the last string, which is here, you it tells you to put your third finger on the third fret. So one, two, three. This is the third fret. So then we strum. So that's the C chord. But let's take a look at another chord diagram. So this is going to be an F chord. And so we're going to need a couple more fingers. So you can place your fingers on the strings uh, however you feel the most comfortable and try to match it with the diagram on the screen. So to play the F chord, just press a finger on the second fret on the first string and, on, and another finger on the first fret of the third string. It'll basically look like this, so... And... There you have it. 
I admit it can be tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, learn how to switch between chords and practice every day so you can transition between each chord smoothly. So moving on to step three, which is learning how to strum. So how you strum depends on what you're comfortable with. And personally, I use my thumb. But if you want to use a ukulele pick, that's also fine. So the most common strumming pattern is down, up, down, down, up, down. So it goes like this. So I actually prefer to use my thumb because it produces a so much softer sound, but you only need to strum lightly because the strings are not as hard as the guitar, so keep that in mind. So far, we've learned how to tune our ukulele, how to play some chords, and also learned how to strum. So you have already nailed down the basics, and now comes the fun part, which is also the final step. Step 4. Look up your favorite songs and learn how to play them. There are plenty of websites that provide the chords to your, to your favorite song, and my personal favorite is ukuletabs.com, where you can find the chords to uh, any song of your choice. Besides that, watching a tutorial on YouTube is also the fastest way to learn. There are many of videos online to choose from and, and you can learn at your own pace. So go impress your friends and make some covers. Have a jamming session. Go enjoy your new hobby. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end my demonstration speech, let's take a quick recap on the four steps in learning how to play the ukulele. First, tune your ukulele. Second, learn some basic chords. Third, learn how to strum. And the fourth, final and crucial step of all, have fun. Remember, the most important thing is that practice makes perfect. I mean, Rome wasn't built in one day, so if you get frustrated, take some time off, cool down, but remember to get back to it. Once you've gotten the hang of it, the possibilities are endless. So, what are you waiting for? Stop what you're doing and go play the ukulele. Thank you.